Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to talk about the usage of finasteride and how it can actually affect uh, women who are pregnant and possibly cause birth defects and other complications. I know that finasteride, the topic of finasteride in general is very uh, controversial and you know people talk about all these different types of side effects ranging from sexual dysfunction, uh, depression and you know other conditions but I feel like a lot, of, a lot of people aren't really aware that finasteride can also cause a lot of issues in pregnant women uh, and so in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the things that you guys need to be careful of if you and your partner are considering in having a kid or if you, um, you know, currently have a wife or girlfriend that's pregnant um, and so these are some of the things you guys want to be careful of when you are taking finasteride so as you guys know, finasteride is the active ingredient in the brand names Propecia and Prosker and it's the medication that's FDA approved to treat and slow down male pattern baldness. It works by blocking the chemical DHT in the body which causes the hair follicles to shrink and eventually die. And DHT is very important especially in the puberty stage of boys because it causes the, the genitals to form and also the growth of pubic and body hair. And more importantly, it also causes the prostate to grow during puberty. And so finasteride inhibits the conversion of testosterone into DHT and it may cause abnormalities in the external genitalia of a male fetus if it's exposed to finasteride. So because of that reason, finasteride is actually not approved for use in women to treat hair loss. And a study was actually done on pregnant monkeys who were given large doses of finasteride by mouth. And it, it pretty much resulted in male offspring with abnormalities of the sex organs. And they also did a study on pregnant rats who were also given finasteride. And the results showed that it increased the risk of preterm birth and impaired cognitive uh, functioning in newborns. The defect causes the opening of the uh, urinary tract to appear on the underside of the penis when it should actually be at the tip. And due to the complications of uh, genital defects, in male babies, women are actually warned against touching broken or crushed tablets of Propecia or Prosker as there is that remote possibility that they may absorb some of the, um, of the active ingredient into their system. To guard against this issue, the tablets actually have a type of coating on them but you know some people actually do cut up the tablets into different uh, pieces. For example, I know that Prosker comes in 5 milligram tablets and a lot of the times people cut them into fourths, into 1.25 milligrams. Um, so you, you really want to take into um, consideration and caution when you're doing this around pregnant women as the particles can you know, get in contact with them and it may, it may absorb into their bodies. Also, it's highly unlikely, but theoretically, there's a risk of birth defect in a male's sex organs if a couple has intercourse during the stage of pregnancy when the sex organs of the fetus are developing uh, because traces of finasteride can also be found in small amounts in semen. And also after birth of, of the baby, finasteride should not be used if the baby is being breastfed um, since finasteride can also be absorbed by the mother and passed on to the baby through breastfeeding. So guys, please be careful if you are using finasteride uh, while your partner is pregnant or if you are considering and having a kid so that you guys can eliminate any risks of birth defects. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more hair loss and hair transplant tips and I'll talk to you guys soon.